Give us oh, jealousy. Don't look at us that we are overflowing it. It is uh, our problem. Once they engage us, nearly our hand is to come down. <laughs> Living God for this. I use this as a, as my own. I use my own as a point of contact to reach you. In the name of Jesus, take it. In Jesus' name, you will you will have it. You see this year, it will not pass you by. Fresh boy, boy. Oh, no no no. Stop Apache. Give them something to talk about to you. Two years since I met you. One year dating now. I'm ready for forever. Everybody got to know you. Baby, you know, no, see me. I be the plan to marry you. And I'll be only day two. I already know I go, I feel you. I want get it, I want get it. When you look for film, you can find a nebe. Give them something to talk about to you. Ebe, lebe, and then a bang one. When you look for film, you can find a nebe. I saw my dinner Congratulations to the latest couple in town, Mr. and Mrs. Obodo. Or let us simply say, Mr. Alex and Mrs. Ekene Obodo. Yes, so they just took their vows and um, tied the knot. I mean, celebrities, you know, Ekene, she's into the industry. She is an entertainer, a scriptwriter, actress. Now, this, this is a contrast. We pray that everything works as it should. The character and the attitude of Ekene in the Nollywood industry is the reason why so much people came loving her. They applauded her and they congratulated her. They were there. They made sure that they stood by her, unlike some in the industry that have um, trails of wickedness, um, snatching of husband and terrible things. They have done so much. Terrible things. You heard from the beginning, she made a prayer for those who are looking for their missing ribs, for those who are looking for a man or a woman that God has formed and shaped, structured for them. And I'm very sure that you said amen if you are in that uh, um, pathway, if you are seeking, if you are looking, or you are just hoping that uh, that miracle happens. Maybe you are with a man and the man is not really serious and you are like, oh, when will this guy do the needful? Um, she's also praying that you find solution, that you find your door, that you knock that door and that door is opened for good and not for bad. So, back to the couple, the latest couple in town, Ekene Umewa Ogodo and Alex Ogodo. Both of them are in the same industry. One is an actress, scriptwriter, and the other, a movie director. Let us rejoice with those that are rejoicing. Let us celebrate with those that are celebrating. That is it. It is not always going to be bad news, bad news every now and then. And the God that did it for her will definitely do it for you. As long as you are fervent, as long as you are, your mind is in tune, in line, and you know where you are heading to in life. There are a lot of mysterious things that have happened over time. I mean, marriages that have crashed because they, both the, the, those, um, the, the two people are not supposed to be. There are marriages that have crashed because they allowed in third party. There are marriages that have crashed in that industry, like every other um, industry or in our lives in general. There are a lot of marriages that have crashed. Um, the latest um, that has been trending, not really like latest, but it is still fresh and fresh, is that of Nollywood actor Yole Doche and you know the drama that surrounds it. So now a lot of people are tapping from this marriage because because they are hoping, they are wishing you have to be in that position, in that situation for you to realize how much a lot of people want to be married. But then you know there is a difference between being married and being a wife or husband. These are two different things. You can be married, but you're not um, a wife. To be a wife, it requires a lot. Um, there are a lot of things that you need to put into it. To be a to be husband also, there are a lot of things that you need to put into it.
Now, I'm not trying to make it look like a job, like, oh, no, I will prefer to be by myself because this is too much of an headache. No, it's not like a job. What I'm trying to say is that there are people who want to be a wife. They want to be married, sorry, but they are not ready to be a wife. They do not understand the criteria. They do not understand what needs to be done. They do not know the position. It's like someone who is uh, maybe, you know, a local government chairman, but wants to be president and does not understand um, the requirements of being president and cares less about it. All is, I want to be president. That's what it is. So you have to realize what being a wife is. You have to understand what being husband is. And the responsibilities that are attached to all of this. So, whilst you are saying amen, amen to Ekene Umenwa's prayer for you, saying this year will not pass you by, you know, um, the year is coming to an end. We only have one month and we'll be talking about December. There are, there, there are still those who will be asked to, you know, quickly, let's just go and settle this in your villa. Let's go to your village. Let's go to wherever. Let's just sort this out. Let's just, you know, proposing and then um, final, you know, people probably they've been in relationship for over five years, six years, seven years, and they're like, what next? And all of a sudden, something opens, the door opens, and uh, it's a final thing, final, final. When I say final, at the end of the day, there is no, you know, nothing else to, to, to hold back again. And the man is like, you know what? Let's go and settle this course. Let's go and finish it up. And also, um, whilst we are also talking about this, we also have to be conscious of um, choosing the right partner. And there are telltale signs out there. Um, you are in that relationship and you can, you can see uh, for yourself. You, 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 you can lie to people, but you cannot lie to yourself. You, you can see um, the, the, the signal. You can see the signs of it. Um, that this man is not uh, a man to live with, a man that beats you up, batter you, and you think, no, it's okay. This is how it's supposed to be. Once in a while, a woman needs to have her head reset by beating. You are missing it. You are missing it. It's not normal. It's not normal. You are not in a relationship for the man to be physical with you, to beat you. No, the only time a man is supposed to be physical is when he lifts you up, when he helps you carry heavy items and stuff like that's when a man should be physical, when a man is protecting you. That's when a man is allowed to be physical, not to batter you, beat you up. Yes, I do understand that there are women too, because when we talk about men, we need to talk about the women too. There are women who are not normal also. There are women who are, they are, they are vicious. They are like, they lie like they are Jezebels. They are, they are evil. Um, everything that comes out of their mouth, they believe that they have the mouth and they can speak, they can do. And because at times a man cannot respond to them in the same vigor, in the same venom, energy, they feel like, I can say anything. I can insult his mother. I can insult his father. I can tell him about his weakness. I can tell him about what I know, the secrets in his family. I can mess him up. I can do and undo you know that kind of um, rubbish uh-huh so the man gets angry and he wants to probably leave the house or become physical so we know about those type of things but regardless uh, of this it is not permitted for either a man for you to go overboard whenever you go overboard it means you are ready to end that marriage and we also are not wishing and praying for a kene and her husband or anyone out there to now get to a point where they become so abusive and they want to hurt themselves. We have seen countless marriages, marriages that people spend so much money. Uh, they spend so much, millions of naira disappeared. And um, within some six months, seven months, we begin to hear that the man is no more. What happened? The wife did this to him. What happened? Uh, if she found out that there are still some side chick, side hen here and there, or something led to one thing, they got angry, they couldn't handle their anger issues. So all of these things are there. Marriage is not going to fix it. Love is not enough for marriage. That's the truth. Marriage is not going to fix these things. You have to deal with it. You have to deal with it. Even though both of you are managing yourself, it's called management. But you have to deal. You have to deal with those things, those telltale signs. Before you eventually say, okay, I think um, I can live with this one. I think I can manage this one. You know what I mean? Uh, you have to really deal with this. Thing. So I, I don't know what you think about it. Am I making sense or not? Drop your comment, like, and share. See you in the next update.